Hi everyone and welcome to the video. In this video we are going to write a very long code for the sequence detect detector. That is the sequence that we are going to detect uh, would be 01101 that is a 5 bit sequence detected. I have already created a video about the state diagram so I am not going to explain this here in this video. If you have doubt please go and watch that video and this video is only for the very long code. So let's begin. So basically, um, let me just show you the first path at A. If it is 0, go to B. If it is 1, stay at A, right? So how are we going to code in the Verilog code? So basically, I have my module FSM, right? And I've declared the input and output sequences. I have declared the output sequence. I have de declared all the reg registers. Then parameter size equals to 3. Why 3? Because I'm using 3 flip-flops. So the I need 3 variables to code this um, uh, I need three variables to code the state that is 0, 0, 0 for S0 and similarly uh, 1, 0, 0 that is 4 for S4. So I have declared the parameter after doing that. What I'm usually doing is register the next state and the current state. All right. After that, the main logic starts here. Always add post edge clock, begin reg input. If reset is high, in sequence equals to 0. Else in sequence equals to in sequence. So basically, if, the, if I press the reset, it should be zero. Else, you know, take the in sequence. Now, what I do here always add state or in sequence or reset. So take that in sequence inside, begin FSM comb combinational. This is just giving a label. Next state equals to 3 bit 0, 0, 0. So I'm giving the next state as 3 bit 0, 0, 0. All right. All right. That's good. Now, here, if reset is one again, uh, the out sequence would be zero else begin state so case uh, is equal to state so whatever the sequence is depending upon that this cases would be executed now this is the case for the first case let me show you the diagram so for a if it is zero go to b if it is on one stay on a itself so the same thing i'm coding it in the very log if in sequence equals to zero if it is zero stay go to s1 or else and the output has to be zero else go to stay on the S0, that is the same state, that is A, and the out sequence has to be 0. So you can see if it is 0, go to B, that is S1. If it, Let me just say it this way. If it is 0, go to S1, output is 0. If it is 0, it is, or if it is 1, the output is 0 and stay on this S0. All right, the same thing I have implemented here. Similarly, I implemented for the rest of the file, that is S0, S1, S2, S3, and S4. After that, there's a default stage. That is nothing but if any, if none of the case is executed, by default, start from S0. And output has to be 0, all right, by default. So always set pause edge clock, begin FSM. Uh, so if it, I'm just uh, initiating the next state here. So that is it for the very log for the FSM. Now comes the test bench, basically. So here is a test bench, basically. I'm declaring a uh, register data as 16 bits. And um, so basically initial begin. So when it starts, that is 16 bit data, I equals to zero, reset equals to one bit high. Wait for some time. That is after the reset is high, wait for a while. And after that, what I do usually is uh, the input is shifted one by one and the, you know, it is sub supplied to the program. This is nothing but the module that is gonna run. Basically, I'm mean, instantiating the test bench and the FSM code. Now quickly running to the model sim. I have already compiled it and you know, I've already uh, showed you how to do that. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you the output. So if I just quickly do the simulate button and, and I select, oops, my bad. All right, I thought I can select everything, but due to some problem, maybe. Oh, uh, okay. All right, let me quickly because of the video it's giving me a hard time right now so okay all right it's a little bit laggy right now my software because i'm running a lot of software on my computer so it's a little slow but please bear with me right now so i'm just gonna go to close as i already have compile compile all library work and the fsm.bench that is my uh, where i'm initiating my test bench and my um sequence of course so wait for a while i'm not gonna hurry up right now just dropping all the variable here uh so that should be 100 microsecond are you sure you want to finish it no i don't want to finish it 
Alright. So, if I'm not wrong here, this should be 100 nanoseconds. And I need to restart this. Alright, so simulation, restart. Okay. Alright, that's that's what I needed and let me just zoom out a little bit so yep and let me just have to press go five times so that the waveform is generated so here you can see the sequence has been generated here for the output so that the last uh, waveform is the output waveform and the above that is the input waveform and you can see clearly you can see here that is uh, one that is zero one one zero one and here the output has been generated. Here you see this is the output sequence and that's it for the sequence director. The code is there in the description section below. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please do a question in the comment section below and I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Code is there on my GitHub account. Please go to the, my GitHub account and check the sequence director and you'll find the code. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.